to video from thegistlife.com. This video I'm going to show you how you can put your own drum samples into the IK Multimedia Uno drum. A great drum machine, I really like this. It's got some great sounds and you can download more from the IK Multimedia website. But with this little tool you can actually put your own sounds in there. First step is make sure you've got all the anthology libraries set up from IK Multimedia so that creates some file structures you need. So get that done first. Then the next step is to get this brilliant um, tool that uh, enables you to um, to install your own sounds on here and that is this Uno Drum Utils you can get here from GitHub. So it, it does some brilliant work on this, it's a great project. I had to do some amendments to get it working for me and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So first get the release of that, you can get the pre-built one, unzip it and stick it somewhere on your PC. And that's exactly what I've done. Uh, I've got it here on, on my machine here. The next uh, thing you need to do is to install something called Socks. That's the audio conversion tool that actually gets them into the right formats uh, that you need. So you'll see here in the notes, um, you can get that from socks.sourceforge.net, which is what I've done, and I've installed it. So download that, go through the standard installer, next, 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 all the way through. The next step, you're going to need your audio samples. And uh, I got mine from my uh, Roland TR505, which is sampled myself. So I just hooked my TR505 up to my PC. Use audio recording software. You could use any, you know, Audacity, or you can use your door or whatever. And I went through each drum one at a time. And that ended up with a big WAV file with all the drums on. And then I've saved them separately. So you can see in this folder here, I've created a folder called TR505 and I've copied in each of those or well, saved each of those files. So these are the the files from the uh, TR505. With the Uno drum you can have more than one sound one drum machine at a time. Each one of these pads, these drums has five different sounds on. The the some analog, I think it's kick the, the kick and the snare and the hi-hats have one analog and then four samples. The rest have five samples. So you can actually load multiple sets in there. So what I've done is I've downloaded some Lindrum samples and I've got those ready as well. So I can use those um, on my machine as well. So for me, I found the easiest way. So I've got the uh, socks installed, I've got the sound files and uh, in here you'll see a, a command called do it which is a batch file which runs and does the processing for you. But obviously you need to change that to point to your sounds. So what I did is I copied that, put it into this root folder here and called it TR505 because that's what I'm going to be working on. And then I edited this file. So this is the do it one is the original source file which makes the demos. I suggest you have a play with this uh, because it will um, it will explain how things work for you. But I had to make some changes to it. So let me show you what I mean. So I had to hard code the paths in here. So on the on the do it one, they were you can see here they had these links to where the actual exe was, um, and um, that just wasn't working with my machine. I rather than debug it, I manually put in the path there. So you can see I've got that. The other thing you need as well is this uh, file, the DFU file. The DFUs are the files that contain all the sounds. So this is the Anthology 8 one that's used in the demo scripts and I stuck to that. So I already had that because I downloaded the IK Multimedia sound packs. So make sure you've got that as well. And I put that in this root folder here where I've been working. The other change I made is well, in the original file, it's um, it's the socks is version. Uh, go back, sorry, go back to that. Socks is version fourteen point four two, and you see it's fourteen point four point two. On my machine, it actually installed it's fourteen dash four dot two. So on my build, I've changed that path there. Right. So once you've done that, the next thing is the actual sound mapping. So I mentioned each pad has got four or five sounds on it. So if we have a look here at the tom. You can see um, in the unpack folder, so essentially what this tool does, it unpacks one of the files that comes with the machine and it swaps out your samples in it and repacks it. So sample one 
is uh, the tom drum one or sound one so you change it to it's sound two sound three sound four so um what i've done i've got sound one mapped as a tom from the lindrum sound two as a conga low from the lindrum conga low low is sound three then i've used the to tr505 conga wave file and the um tom l low tom from from the tr505 so this is where i replaced in you see their scripts you can see i replaced those links to the actual files on my machine and the same goes with the unpacked i swapped those from using the um unpacked folder like that and i hard coded them i don't think you need to but i did that anyway just a uh, final replace just to get that so i've gone through each sound so i've gone through tom one tom two the rim you see i'm using the different ones the cowbells um rather than put nothing i only i've only got a few different cowbells to use on this sample pack so i've used the same one on the first three slots and so on so if, if we get down to the snare you can see i've got um uh, the Lin snare, limb snare, low vice snare, which is a sample I've had around for years. It's a Jan Hammer Mary vice drum sound, uh, snare sound, and there's the snare from the TR505. So that's mapped to the some of the pads like the, um, the snare and the hi hats and the kick have sound one as analog, so that's why there's less slots for for these on there. And in fact, they, you can see when they then this was created by the project team, they put there there. Okay, so I've done all that. Um, And then the next bit at the end here, I've just changed. Um, I've made it create a file called a TR505. So I'll swap that from the samples that was uh, the DS100 or DS1000. So I'll swap those. So the next thing is to build it. So um, I'm using uh, PowerShell to go into the folder so it just doesn't disappear. You could just double click that uh, that bat file, that command file, but uh, I wanted to show you what happens. So I called it TR55. So you can see it does the unpacking, it does the mapping of the files, and then at the end of it, I ended up with one file built there. So it's built a uh, file called TR505. If I go back to my folder now, you should see a file TR505 DFU. So that's the file we built. So that's our samples ready to go in. So now to get them to the machine, I copy that and like I mentioned before you need to make sure you've got all these uh, anthologies set installed because what you can do and here's anthology 8 we were talking about before this is on my machine these work this uh, uno drum works by having this installer and then it copies that file that uno drum lib to your machine so you just replace that lib file with your version and it will um, it will replace those sounds so you could just do that on here or you could just copy this whole folder uh, rename it and then make your own from that so that's exactly what I've done um, I created a file called folder called Lin so I copied that uh, other one just rename it to to Lin so I don't get a bit lost and here we have the library so I'm going to paste that file in so that's my TR505 one now to install it, I'm going to get rid of the one that was already there. That's the one I prepared earlier. And rename this TR505 to DFU like that. Okay, so now we're ready to install it. So we run the installer. It's seen the, it's into the update mode to install and that's copying those sounds down now okay so that's complete power that off how to reboot the you know drum I'm going to load my and now we can listen to the drum Okay, so um, the sounds are here on the Uno drum. There's a bit of noise coming through. Uh, it's because of the USB that I'm connected to this machine. I don't normally get that when I go through a door, but uh, 
I just wanted to give you an idea of the, the sounds on here. So um, here, if I hit the, the snare drum, I can choose which snare sound I want. And uh, so this is snare two, that's Lin, that's the Lin low. That's the Jan Hammer one. You see I'm changing that on, the, on this on here through this uh, choosing there and that's the Uno uh, so that's the TR505 so if I play a pattern now if I put into my kit and I can play one of the patterns okay so that is now playing the TR505 so that's now playing the TR505 drum pan uh, this will be the Lindrum one and Lindrum with the big snare actually uh, slowed down. So to give you an idea that I'm not pulling wool over your eyes, if I change that now to um, analog, that's the analog snare, and that that's the Lindrum one. Let's try and find a bit of a different pattern using some of the other sounds. Okay, so there we've got a pattern now, using the hammer snare and the rest of the limb drums, I can change that to use the limb drum, or I can change it to 505. So there we go, I've got my samples in there. It's a lot of steps, but once you get used to it, it's pretty straightforward. The, the key to it is this script file. So, uh, like I said, I copied the sample one, put it into that folder, changed all the paths to match all my paths, changed these sounds to match, changed these to build the, the file I needed to build, and yeah, that was the, that's the tricky bit, is just getting those copied over, and getting the, the file paths to the right locations, and that's it. So I've built them, so now if I wanted to, I've got some overhind drum samples, I can load those into there, uh, I can sample anything I want, make my own drum kits, there's loads of samples you can you can get and of course you can organize them however you want so you can make things easy to use so if you always use a, a 909, an 808 and a Lindrum you can assemble those into your own set so that you don't have to keep swapping them out you can just have one on um, kit one, kit two, kit three, you know you can have them all assigned to however you want so that's it, so that's the how you uh, use those I can't take credit for the brilliant work done on this um, Uno drum utility um, solution. This is the key to that's what that enabled me to do that. I just had to, to play around with it to uh, to get it to work for me. But anyway, there you go. Have fun with your Uno drum. Get your own samples on there. Thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on the GCLifestyle.com, our YouTube channel, or uh, check out our Spotify links as well.